In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use dynamic zone visibility to swap between two different chart types and two different metrics. In this example, I have a bar chart by sales. If I swap the metric to profit ratio, Tableau is actually returning a different sheet. If I change the chart type to a map, I now get a map of profit ratio by state. Change my metric to sales, and now I get a map of sales by state. It's pretty simple, and I'm gonna show you all the steps in this tip. If you're new here, my name's Andy. I created this channel to help you learn, grow, and unlock your career in data. Every week I put out a newsletter. Sign up at andycreeble.com. I share tips, tricks, videos, discounts, and much more every single week. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create two parameters. In the data pane, let's create a parameter. Call it chart type. Change the data type to a string, the allowable values to a list, and type in bar, and map. Click on OK. Create a second parameter. Call this one metric. Change the data type to a string, allowable values to a list, and type in sales and profit ratio. Click on OK. Now we need to create our profit ratio calculation. In the data pane, create a new calculated field. Call it profit ratio. Our calculation is the sum of profit divided by the sum of sales. Click on OK. Right click on that field, choose default properties, number format, and set it to a percentage to zero decimals. Click on OK. The next step is to build our four charts. Rename the first sheet, sales by state. Double click on country and double click on state. Drag sales onto the color shelf. Right click on the map and choose format. Go to the borders, turn your row divider off and your column divider off. Right click on the map again and choose background layers. Drag the washout to 100%. Right click on that sheet and duplicate. Call this one profit ratio by state. Drag profit ratio onto color. Create a new sheet. Drag state onto the rows and sales onto the columns. Sort descending. Right click on the header and choose hide field labels for rows. Rename the sheet sales by state. I'm gonna add a space after the worksheet name to differentiate it from the first sheet. Right click on this sheet and choose duplicate. Replace sales with profit ratio and sort descending. Rename that sheet profit ratio by state and leave a space at the end. Now we need to create four calculations that we're gonna then use in our dynamic zone visibility. Create a new calculated field. I'm gonna call this one bar and sales. My calculation is chart type equals bar and metric equals sales. Click on OK. Duplicate that calculation and edit the copy. Let's call this bars and profit ratio. All we need to swap out is sales for profit ratio. Click on OK. Duplicate that calculation. Right click and edit. Call this one map and profit ratio. Change the chart type to map. Click on OK. Right click on map and profit ratio and duplicate. Right click again and choose edit. Call this one map and sales. Change the metric to sales. Click on OK. Create a new dashboard. Drag in a vertical container. Drag sales by state into the container, profit ratio by state into the container, sales by state into the container, and profit ratio by state into the container. On any of the sheets, click on more options, parameters, chart type. Choose it again, parameters, and metric. That brings up our parameters on the right hand side. I'm gonna get rid of both of the color shelves. Now here's where the magic happens with our dynamic zone visibility. Click on the sales by state sheet. Go to the layout tab and choose control visibility using value. Instead of none, we wanna choose map sales. Click on the profit ratio by sales sheet. Choose the control visibility option and we wanna pick map profit ratio. Choose the sales by state bar chart. Control visibility. Instead of none, we're gonna pick bar and sales. Lastly, control visibility on the profit ratio by state sheet and choose bar and profit ratio. Now, if we change the chart type to a map, we see a map of sales by state. Change our metric to profit ratio, and we see profit ratio by state. Change the chart type back to a bar, and now we see profit ratio by bar. And that's all there is to it. A couple of simple calculations, a couple of parameters, throwing all the sheets into a dashboard, turning on dynamic zone visibility, give it a quick test, and you're all done. I hope you found this useful. If you did, remember to give it a like. And don't forget to click on subscribe. 
I don't want you to miss any of the content I create.